Welcome to the Bonnie B. Hawkins Creative TV. On today, Creative TV, you will see me uh, assembling a hair topper. Now, a hair topper is for, for um, it's good. It's great for covering, thin, thinning, and even balding uh, ha uh, patches of hair. Um, so um, the hair topper here, I'm uh, designing. As you can see, there is an illustration board on the bottom. Uh, which is a, a, uh, uh, a illustrated uh, illustration of my at the top of my head, and uh, also <clears throat> as you can see right there, uh, I am uh, gluing it on. I use uh, hair bonding glue, and right now I'm blow drying a little first section, the first section that's been outlined. I'm following my outline that I have on my board here, and underneath of this, I'm gluing this. I am actually gluing this to a you probably it's hard to see it, but there's a knitting, uh, a knitted, um, a netting, a netting fabric underneath of it. Uh, on the board, what I did, I uh, I um, drew an outline, like I said, of my of my skull on the top of my head, and I um, um, used the wax paper and uh, to um, to draw, to draw um, the outline of the head of the top of the head. And I also, <clears throat> then I used the, um, a netting, I applied a netting to the, uh, the board, my illustration board. Uh, this netting is, the, is what I'm using here to, uh, place these, the hair weaving, uh, wealth, wealth on. So anyway, um, uh, so continuing on, you see I'm, I'm working on my second row of, uh, hair weaving, um, the pattern right now. And you can see I'm blue drying this. Um, right here. Um, okay, and uh, y'all got to excuse me. I have. Uh, I know I look. Some people may concentrate on the fact that I have the rough hands, and they are very rough. <laughs> but I am an elderly lady, so I'm. You know, I'm up in age, and uh, <clears throat> and I don't have the best of hands. I mean, uh, you know. But I thank God for my hands that I can still use them, because there's so many people that have beautiful hands and they can't use them for whatever reason. Maybe arthritis or other conditions, you know, that cause people not to be able to use their hands. So I'm grateful to for the hands I got, and I pray for those who who um having issues with their hands as well. But in this particular one, you see me, I'm working on here, I'm working on um, row three of the Hair Weaving Welch pattern. Okay, and you notice that I, in each step, I will apply the glue um, and, uh, and then blow dry it. I do the blow drying method because this is a quick method. And you know, I'm laying my pattern out on paper and doing it. Uh, and the reason why I do that is because um, kind of like putting it on your head and trying to do it that's another whole process then you have to watch your uh, your iron your um your your um you have to watch your um um what is this blow dryer uh settings and you have to be really careful and it takes more time if you're applying it if you're doing it your pattern while it's on your head some people actually do that but I, I like doing it this way. And I'm going to be showing many, many, many more of hair toppers, hair weaving. And, of course, um, I'm going to do the, uh, the coin rolling settings. And there's going to be so much that I'm going I'm, I'm attending. I, the Lord's willing, I'm hoping to do on this channel. So this is, uh, this is all new for me. I'm going into a whole new way of a uh, 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 series on my, on my channel. I'm mostly concentrating now on, of course, different types of hair patterns, hair fashions. Even I uh, also do a hair, um, like a fabric, um, you know, the wrappings that people put on, that you can put apply to your head. Okay, and so in this right here, you see me, I am um, a con continually, I think it's row four of my, um, of the hair weaving patterning, pattern. Okay, uh. Keep in mind, this is a very small uh, area portion I'm using because it is a hair topper. It's not an actual hair wig. It's it's a topper that goes on for like I said for people with uh, thinning and maybe little bowling uh, patches in in their hairline. Okay, because so many of us nowadays have it due to uh, it could be due to um, medication. It could be due to uh, of course the alopecia. It could be due to a number of things, you know. There's so many reasons, and um, you know, this could be happening, you know. 
But here you see me now, you, if you notice that I'm starting to work on the sides pointing, parting of my hair, the front of the hairline. And this is the hair parting now. And on the hair parting, you um, use, of course, much smaller pieces. And uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm putting it on and laying it to, on the side as you can see it. Okay, I believe this is the first one I'm putting on the side right now on this particular um, um, video or assembly. Okay, so here you see me, I just blow dried it. Now you see me pushing, putting it over. You see what I'm doing right now? I am, I'm folding it back on itself and then I'm going to use um, the setting, uh, uh, medium setting on my little um, hair ironing, flat iron. But it looks like I'm going ahead and do the brushing first. So we're brushing it. First we're brushing it a little bit and smoothing things out. Okay, the hair out. Okay. And once I get all that done, then I will use the the little iron you see right here, the hair uh, flat iron for hair. And you see me here, I'm trying to flatten uh, the fold that I just created there for my uh, the parting. It's important that you follow this step because this step helps you to um, cover the uh, the actual weaving uh, wealth. Uh, I'm gonna call it the weaving wealth head. Okay, the stitching part on there is covering the stitching area. So, okay, and now you see me, I'm doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. Using a small um, piece of hair, um, welch, um, weaving welch. Now I'm gluing that uh, piece also. And then you're going to see me assemble it the exact way I did the other one. And now you're going to see me uh, place it on um, there. And uh, use the blow dry and blow dry it. And then I'm going to go and, uh, of course, brush it, that little portion. And then you're also going to see me do the same thing with the, um, um, there's the blow dry. I'm doing the blow drying now. Then you will see me fold it that piece over, you know. You notice how I'm, notice how I'm, I lay it. I First I lay it, like, uh, as you can see. Um, straight and then I of course I blow dry it and then uh, of course I, I uh, separated by folding it over on itself again okay you see I'm see what I'm doing and then I'm um, separating and using my uh, rat tail uh, comb uh, this is important uh, you can I uh, mean if you have one use the rat tails because that helps you to part the hair you know so you can get a straight part Okay, now you see me here. I am using my 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 iron again, my hair straightening flat iron again, um, and I'm just using the corner of the of the flat iron because it has a sharp edge on it, and it can and it can help me to flatten the hair. Okay, um, the fold uh, right there where where the part is. And remember, look at look, notice here. This is the actual front of the the hair um, the hair construction uh, that I'm working in, and this is just the back of the part, the end of the part in the hair. And so with that, I am um, putting a. I'm going to do a. Um, I'm going to. I got a small section again. I'm going to uh, use the circle method, but except for it's going to be more like a little square. Um, in other words, I folded two or three times over on itself the pieces of hair over at, at the um, at the um, on the welch at the end, as you can see right here. Okay, you notice I'm putting a generous amount of glue on there, and then I'm going to fold it over about three or four times, and then I'm going to place it um, at the end of the part in the hair where the part is towards the back. What this does, it gives it more value. It gives volume it gives it lifts and uh and the, on the hair so that you will notice if in the model when i do the modeling of the the hair piece you will notice there's a little lift there and the reason why the lift is there is because i took the time in doing this method right here everybody don't use this uh, i don't i wouldn't imagine be using this 
doing this um, this way. But this is just the way I, Bonnie B. Hawkins, is designing her first, the first hair topping. This is the first of many. There are several ways you can do this. You can use the glue method, which is the method that I'm using. But you can also use, uh, of course, the sew-in method for those who want to, uh, the sew-in piece. So I chose to do it this way because this is the quicker way to do it. You know, um, if you have like hair weaving um, watch uh, lying around the house and you want to uh, create a um, just something for yourself to look different or I mean, to have a different um, maybe a, a hair, um, you may want your hair like modeled a certain way different. Just use the hair, you know, uh, you can practice these steps here um, that I'm doing or or you can just maybe take from these steps and just do um, the way you want to and just use a few of this of these steps. But here you see me, uh, I've placed the um, I've placed the wealth, uh, that piece of fabric, I mean, I'm sorry, that piece of, of, uh, of um, hair wealth uh, on the back of the part of my hair, just the part, the part where, I'm, where I parted my hair. Okay, now you can see me lift the uh, the netting as well as the uh, the wealth the the weave const uh, topper construction off of the of my um, my board there, and now you're seeing me just uh, checking to see how things are looking so far. And now I am taking a flat iron and try to flatten out the top of the hair the hair right here, as you can see. Uh, it's a very important. This is a very important step because you want to make sure that you have um, the hair as flat as possible on the top. I mean, you want to make sure that it's smooth and um, plaited. Um, you know what I mean. But anyway, here we go. So here I go. Now I'm applying a heat to the uh, that little piece you, that you last see me seen me put on on the uh, hair topper. Okay, and now I'm just checking it so far just to see. Uh, um, how flat I may have gotten it, the top, and now you see me brushing out the, the, um, you see me brushing it out the, the topper, okay, and I'm uh, making sure everything is falling into place, the hair is falling into place neatly, and uh, you see me uh, kind of look like I'm messing with it quite a bit because I'm trying to get everything um, laying flat on the top of the hair. You want to make sure your hair weaving is uh, setting flat. You can always do lift it uh, once it's finished. And here you see me just taking the hard iron, the high, uh, flat hair iron, just um, just going through it a little bit, straightening it out just a little teeny bit. Okay, okay. This also is very helpful when you're creating a hair topper. Okay, and uh, okay. So I'm brushing it out again, as you can see. And I, uh, considering this is the first hair topper and the first time I actually used the hot glue, uh, hair bonding glue, as well as any of this, this is a whole new field from field for me to go into. But I want to, uh, uh, you know, when I'm learning, I like to show others what I'm learning, you know, as I go along, you know. Uh, that's what the whole YouTubing is about, uh, and Facebook and all the other uh, uh, ways of social media, you, um, Google social medias. Uh, there's several way, uh, several platforms, but this is just a, a way of getting, letting others see your work, you know. Okay, now you see me as you, I'm sorry, you see me uh, with the fabric just now. There was a piece of fabric. I tried to have the fabric close to the color of my skin, my uh, my uh, tone of color of my skin as possible. And uh, now you, see, and the reason why that is because if you want to make a part. And the top of these hair, you can do that, and the, you know, and then you want um, the um, uh, the fabric uh, that's close to your skin color uh, to be the like the top of the crown of your head where the parting is located. Now you've seen me; I just applied a, a generous amount of glue to the back of the the, the weaving, uh, the topper, and now you see me with the fabric. I'm laying the fabric on there, okay, and then I'm gonna blow dry it. Okay, and once I after I finish blow drying it, I will cut off all the little uh, excess parts of the the edge of the fabric. Okay, and that's what you see me doing right here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm brushing that out. It's all about brushing it out. And don't forget, I'm using the, I was using the, um, the, the hot glue. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm using the, um, the hair dryer is just to uh, speed up the process, as I was saying. Now, I'm very pleased with what I've done so far. So now you see me just uh, constantly brushing it a little more. And soon you will see me as I turn the, um, the weaving over, um, the topper over, and cut off all the excess um, um, fabric, the skin uh, tone uh, color fabric. Okay, and I'm getting ready to do that right now. Okay, you see me with the scissors. I am cutting away, trimming away all the excess fabric. Okay. Okay, there you go. You see me do that. And now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, and I want to just let you know that very soon I will be doing a, um, I will be doing the, uh, the another type of, uh, I don't know if it's going to be a hair topper or a f another full assembly of a hair piece, um, the actual hair a wig. Um, you know, I've already done one, uh, and I didn't video it because I I was practicing. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I'm practicing with this also, but still, um, that took more time. But um, but the next one I do, I will do uh, in video and film it so you can see how I do that. All right, so here you go. I got that all um, trimmed the way I want to. Now I'm brushing everything out again, cleaning off my surface a little bit. And y'all, yeah, oh, by the way, please excuse my the surface of the where I'm working because this again is my first my first try at uh, at this. And um, uh, and uh, okay, now here's the part. Okay, so I finished assembling my hair piece, and as you can see in this one, I applied um, hair clips to the. And now you see me, I'm, I'm putting it on. Um, okay, and now I'm, I'm kind of looking in the mirror and trying to straighten it out. And if you notice the back of it, um, what's happening here is, uh, you see I have that um, a stocking cap on. So when I turn around, um, you'll see a part of that stocking cap still showing. Because this, remember, this is just a hair topper. Okay, and my hair is underneath of it, but that's the hair topper. Okay, so I'm very pleased with it. So as you can see, I am sh strutting myself. Not bad for an elderly lady, is it? Yeah, we got it too, you know. We got it going on in here. It's, uh, okay, this is to hopefully someone will get a laugh out of that little part. Because it was meant to have you laughing. And okay, and this is on me. I'm, pr I'm a little proud of, uh, of the work. Although it's not perfect, I thank you for tuning in for the Bonnie B. Hawkins Creative TV. And be sure to tune in to the other episodes. God be sure to check out the other two videos related to this video. One is uh, to be a video showing the complete modeling of the, uh, the this hair piece, and the other will be showing uh, full detail and complete um, um, video on the products in which I use that are optional. I want to demonstrate something to you guys, okay? So again, um, today's episode, you will see me. Um, you will see me doing the um, the hair, um, my hair topper, and as beautiful as this young lady is, that you see here on my right, which is your left, she is uh, very beautiful. However, she's suffering from a condition due to alopecia, as well as other. It could be any. Um, it could be many others. There's reasons why. Uh, uh, as we get older, sometimes their hair thins out. Sometimes we lose hair. We may lose hair at the crown, at our crown of our, our skull, or sometimes even at the top of our skull. We may lose a little hair. So I got a solution for this. And today, I'm going to show you one of many hair toppers I will be creating for my channel, as well as wigs and hair pieces. So you're at the right place. This is video clip coming up also on this uh, as a part of this uh, related to this episode of hair um, uh, hair pro uh, products and my episode today will I will be concentrating on creating a hair topper you know that um as we get older in particular sometimes we may have hair will thin out 
and sometimes we may even shed, um, you know, the hair, shed hair. And sometimes we may lose lots of hair on the crown of our head. We may lose hair just like from from on the sides, uh, any anywhere. But you know, this is not just for older folks. Some younger folks also are experiencing hair loss. So I don't want to look too too um. <laughs> There you see, I got the light over here and it's kind of like coming down and bearing on my eyes. So you guys forgive me. And anyway, welcome to the Bonnie B. Hawkins Creative TV. And again, we are using, uh, we are doing the, the, uh, the hair weaving and this is what we're using, okay? Um, okay, and today we are going to be using... We're going to be using... I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm thinking I might need to lighten the camera a little bit. You might see it. I don't know. But anyway, here we are. This is what we're using on today's episode for our hair. Okay. I'm going to try to do this quickly. We are going to be using hair weaving. A hair weaving welch for hair weaving. This is a beautiful silky like hair. It is, however, a synthetic hair. So, again, um, we're going to be using this. And this is the packet in which it came in. In case you guys can, you know, might want to see, in case you want to purchase the, the type of hair from, the comp from, you know, your local beauty supply company or uh, store. I'm sorry. If you would like to see any of these related videos to the My Hair Type of Project, please check them out in this channel. That is the Bonnie B. Hawkins.